There we go. Yeah. Sit down. Did I get it? You got it. Oh, yeah, you got it. Hey, friends. Hey. Who are we? That's Bethany. <laughs> I'm Jeff. Bethany. Hey, what's up? I'm, I'm Jeff. Bethany. That's Jeff. I and mean, you've seen us as LuLaRoe consultants. Actually, she's the consultant. I'm just doing it because it's fun. Oh, really? Is it fun? It he is loves fun. selling the clothes. I, he wears all Lula. So far, I'm having fun. I'm not having fun wearing it, but I'm having fun. I'm just having fun doing it with you, babe. Oh, yeah? Well, you um, you did wear some leggings yesterday. So. I did wear some leggings. So, yeah. You I always knew they'd today. be comfortable, but I, I wasn't expecting Were you that. super impressed with the buttery soft? The buttery soft aspect? There was, there was something to be said for that, yes. Yeah. That was the end of it for me, though. I think he felt he could stretch better with the leggings on, so he just needed to slip them on, really feel them, give them a try, and um, it worked for him. Anyway. It, to it totally worked for him. <laughs> anyway, I, uh, I don't know about you, but I love, love watching some good YouTube videos. Some people that I love is like examples like Casey Neistat. I just think it's so cool seeing the way he does stuff and seeing kind of an inside look at his life. So we were thinking, you know, let's just give people a quick glimpse of the what our relationship is like a little bit, and what a bit of like how yeah, our family are. works, what we're what we're like together as a family. Um, something that's that's pretty unique about us is that um, we're I don't I can't say we're closer than normal people than others or than the average relationship, but we're we spend a lot of time together. Either like that's what makes this working thing so good is I really really love working with Bethany. This is her thing. She started doing it, but. I just think it's fun to work with her. So, like I said, I'm not in it for the clothes. I don't, I don't, I mean, I like what I'm doing. I think it's a great product, but I just like working with Bethany. He likes the clothes. Anyway, something that we just, we just end up finding ourselves together a lot. So we went through kind of a time uh, about a year ago where just, where our family just was going through some tough Wait, stuff. Wait, really quick, our family, who's our family? Like, it's not just Jeff and I. There's other little people that belong in our family as well. Right, so we have our, our first, our firstborn, her name is Jaden. She likes to be called Jade. She is 11 years old. Our middle, our middle child, she is a girl. Her name is Avery. Avery is seven and very excited about her number eight, which is until November, but you can all but start you know. wishing her happy birthday yeah. now if you want to. And my boy, who is two, his name is Charles, named after Bethany's dad. But our family was going through some tough stuff a little while ago, and we just kind of needed I don't, I mean, you know how sometimes people go on a detox? We kind of needed a detox in a different way in our life, you know, with, with some stuff. We were never like stuff people, but but we yeah. we just wanted to get rid of some stuff and just do things differently. So we actually sold. We actually, I'm, yeah, like he loves me so much and he, he puts up with me and all of my crazy ideas. So one of my crazy ideas, just because I was feeling led to do this and I ultimately think what, kind of going off what Jeff said, it was really necessary for our family to like step away and like really, in a sense, like he said, detox um, and just put ourselves in a totally different scenario. So anyways, we felt led, I say we, <laughs> he put up with my decision. <laughs> she felt led and I felt led <laughs> to follow her. Um, to just start getting rid of a ton of stuff and totally minimize. And that um, minimizing um, led us to buy an RV and renovate the whole RV because we bought a used one because we're not rich and we can't afford those crazy cool expensive ones. So we bought a used one um, off Craigslist. I mean, come on, Craigslist is pretty cool. We fixed it and up. We fixed it up. And sold everything we had. Literally sold. Finished, well, yeah. Finished our lease in a very comfortable home. <laughs> a very beautiful home in a nice, very nice neighborhood. And um, moved into an RV and we just traveled from. This bad boy was like 300 square feet. <laughs> Seriously, 300 square feet. Um, Jeff and I slept on a sleeper sofa. We pulled out every night. It was in the middle of the living room. <laughs> and our kids had a bunk bed and pack and play. And we lived like that for um, almost four months. Yeah. Almost four months. And it was an adventure. Um, I can't say that I, I always loved it, but you know what? We did it. We moved from park site to park site and we were like hippies. We were <laughs> like hippies. And it was I'm pretty I'm not proud cool. of the hippie part. <laughs> I, I am because I'm more of a hippie at heart, like very simple, just, you know, minimal in life and whatnot. Um, so I, I, 
I enjoyed the thrill of it. Um, it got to be a. Uh, um, of course, you always have this idea of what things are going to be like. So, anyways, but you, know I, what? you know what? Whenever Jeff and I, though, whenever we like retire with all the kids, I would not mind yeah, getting another RV. Him that. and I, but you like with that. little kids, <clears throat> I think it's I not would. Smart. Yeah, it's a little weekend, weekend warrior like, maybe. I got like not early. living in it. Yeah, but so. you know what? The, she she liked that adventure part of it, and of course, I love adventure. We, we find ourselves always looking for adventure with our kids, trying to do find some place new, do something something that's natural, something that's new, um, not always spending big bucks to go see something or do something. But yeah, just because kind of let's explore. get to it. Like we don't have big bucks. Yeah, I mean, so. maybe at some point in our life we might be rich, but right now we don't have big bucks, and we've you know learned to adapt to that, and we're pretty good at it. Like. Really good at it. Like, um, I, we took our whole family to Olive Garden last night and spent literally after the tip, and we did a 20% tip because I believe tipping really well is important. But after the tip and all, all three of our We had a kids, gift card. We did have a gift card. All three of our <laughs> kids and Jeff and I ate at Olive Garden for 13 bucks. Like, hey, come on. <laughs> after the tip. But that's how we roll. That's how the Masons roll. We are, like, really simple, and we save money. And it's good to anyways, be simple. But, like, so our RV life, we wanted to share that with you because we thought it was kind of a crazy thing. So just to let you in in our world of who Beth, Jeff, and our family is. What I um, loved about it, you said you loved the adventure. What I loved about it was, though it was very difficult at times, I loved just being that close to my family. I loved, you know, I was working late at night and um, I would come, I would, I would sleep in in the morning because I was getting home at like three o'clock in the morning, you know. So I'd sleep and, and wake up later in the morning, which is tough to do in when RV. you're sleeping in the living room. So we spent a lot of time outside. The kids and I spent a lot of time And then we would outside. wake up, we would go outside, we'd make some coffee for Bethany and myself. And homeschool the kids. We, we, yeah. Bethany Total hippies. And we would have <laughs> breakfast right outside. All of us together, we'd kind of lay on the ground and talk and, and just got a chance to be with our kids. And so it was so awesome. Um, we, we absolutely loved and I'm, that's that's what I cherish about that time yeah was was just the intensity of our family moment in fact you know real quick one thing we did learn about RVing and going to campgrounds like you met, better make sure that you are at a full hookup site <laughs> there was a span oh. where they only had available they didn't have any available full hookups at this one place that we went to and for like five days yeah it was straight, longer than, no it was longer than that okay longer than that for five days straight okay you just learned stuff about full hookups and versus not full hookups Jeff would drive home from work <laughs> We would Put have on to. Rubber gloves, <laughs> we would have to everything. unhook everything and drive like a mile down the road, dump all the poo, and then come back. It was. It wasn't cool. It was not fun. It wasn't cool. It wasn't fun. So in, from then on out, I was going to pay extra <laughs> money for a full hookup. So site. we're not that simple. <laughs> well, I don't know. So, anyways, we did that. That was back in the fall, and now we have found ourselves. Babe, we sold. We sold our dining room furniture we sold our couch we all of our like any chairs that we had <laughs> we sold we sold in fact here let me show you like we just moved in right here right and it wasn't too hard to move in I mean it's, it's always hard moving in but but we had we didn't have as many things to well move you in. know what let me let's, show you. Let, yeah let's just watch this that. let's just uh, here I'm gonna show you humble home it's like look watch this now. you ready front door welcome Matt <laughs> you know what that is it's a dish towel dish towel because <laughs> we've not gotten here's where the dining room furniture would go and instead there's just lula row clothes laying on the ground i was photographing outfits today, <laughs> all right bethany show go ahead so, go that way yeah all right this is our you know we were living in like a 1300 square foot house now five kids three bedrooms it has a little um lula room so that's like four really bedrooms um so we have no table right now <laughs> like no table we have two bar stools all right, so you want to see where our couch, what our couch looks like? Somebody type in what what is that? Like what like like what is our what is our makeshift couch? I'll right give now? you a hint. It ain't a couch. Air mattress. <laughs> All right, but luckily, look. At least our kids have a dining room table. A frozen baby, you know it. And we my did, TV's up. We did save our TV. Jeff was like, I am not getting rid of the TV, so we um. Paid for storage for a few months. Yep. And we put that back Air mattress, right? Eileen, you know it, girl. <laughs> Look, couch, bam, happening right there. <laughs> so, moving furniture wasn't quite as difficult this time. But so just as proof, yeah, we really more, did get rid of everything. We are li now living a more conventional life right now. So, we are going to be working on um, 
um, building back our furniture supply. <laughs> <laughs> that is in the works right now. But every you know day what? Bethany's looking on Craigslist like, hey, we could buy this sofa. <laughs> hey, can we get a table and chairs? And Jeff, you just stand up and eat so we and, can get a small and stuff. And Jeff's like, like, okay, no need to rush into anything, babe. Yeah. No need to rush. But anyway, <laughs> there we are. So Families. this is like a little bit of who we are. And we're going to continue to kind of share over the course of these months as um, we get more and more people in our group. Um, we don't always want to just be selling to you. We want you to get to know us. So, Because um, I think it's way more fun when you know who you're looking at on the screen. You know, you see us like <laughs> Jebethany just did there. You know, you go, when we go down the line like that, we're reading comments. We're seeing who's saying what. Just like you know how you, you, know how you do on Facebook Live or Periscope or whatever you happen to be doing. It, we can see who we're talking to, so we were looking to, to build some friendships that way, and uh, and not just like like she said, it is a business, and we have fun a doing connection. it that way. We want you to but feel yeah. connected to us and know us <laughs> and know who in the heck we are and how crazy we are, yeah. and you can say, you know what, I'm buying some Lula from these crazy people that used to live in an or RV. We and probably have no just lost. By when this is all done, we probably just lost 150 yeah. people from our VIP group. Yeah. We better end this thing. <laughs> all right. Peace out, guys. You guys have a good night. Um, we love you guys. We'll be back on here soon. All right.